Hi everyone, it's Susie. Uh, please excuse the look. I'm um, extremely tired. I've been very, very busy today. Um, I just wanted to jump on. I was watching a video, a couple of videos, about a lovely young lady who's recovering from anorexia. And it makes you think, you know, like, all these magazines, oh, I am a size zero and I've got to be this and I've got to be that. Oh, I mustn't eat an ice cream or I mustn't eat a bit of toast and I mustn't have this and I mustn't have that. Now, I've had issues years ago, well, even now with uh, weight and all the rest of it. Am I too fat? Am I too thin? And, you know, you are what you want. If you want to have an ice cream, have an ice cream. If you want to have a piece of cake, eat a bit of cake. If you want to have a bit of chocolate, eat a bit of chocolate. You know, there's such a precedent for the way that we are and what we eat and, you know, what kind of thing is, is you mustn't eat a bad crisp because that's bad. You mustn't eat this because it's bad. You know, everything in moderation. After the two years that we've had, it makes you stop and think and think, well, when we were in lockdown, everyone was just eating anything. Everyone was just like, there was a saying, you come out of lockdown a hunk, a trunk or a drunk. Or all three, in fact. So, you know, during that dark times of COVID, people were just eating buns and cake and crisps and drinking and nobody cared you know nobody thought ah oh, doesn't matter if i put on a couple of pounds nobody's gonna see me quite rightly so because nobody did see us but now 2022 fast forward people are like oh i don't want to be eating that in case i look like that i mean eat what you like in moderation i have to be very careful what i eat because i've got um, a stomach problem and i take a lot of medication for it but if I wanted a bit of cake that was gluten-free or dairy-free, I'd have it. If I wanted an ice cream that's dairy-free or even vegan, I'd, I'd have it. If I wanted, you know, something, I don't eat chocolate, but if I had something, wanted something tasty, I'd have for like a bit of cheese, goat's cheese, I'd have a bit of cheese. I wouldn't think, oh, am I too fat? Am I too thin? you just got to be what you are. And... You know, all these magazines that say that they airbrush, they're not the true pictures of people. They're not, you know, I'm a size 10, 12. You know, I don't, I can have worry about, or oh, have I put a couple of pounds in the summer because I've eaten, you know, drinking a bit, drinking, have a glass, a couple of glasses of wine or whatever. You know, after the last two years, I just think, you know, live your best life ever the best way you can. Because things are really, really expensive right now. You know, putting on the light for five minutes is expensive. Putting the heating on in the winter, you know, it is very, very, very expensive. But live the best life that you can, possibly. You know, go out if you can afford it to go out for a meal. If you want to go to the seaside, take a few sandwiches, take some drink and have to go to the beach and enjoy it. You know, don't worry about this stereotype. Oh, if you eat that, you look like that. You know, enjoy your life. After I remember during COVID and I was sitting thinking, oh my God, is this going to end ever? And it seemed to go on and on. And on. I think the difficult time was last year when we got shut locked down in January last year. And you think like 2022 and we're now August, another few months, this will be the first Christmas that we'll be able to get together with friends and family. Because I was actually saying this to someone today. Last year we couldn't because it was COVID. And uh, Prime Minister Boris Johnson put in, you can't mix with lots of people because it's, um, it was COVID. And he put plan B in, you only had to, you only had to mix with who brought another. So now, we, this Christmas is going to be a bumper fun Christmas because everybody but everyone's going you know, to have parties and all sorts. So just a quick reminder that if you are having a party, it's finishing touches, etc. And I am decorating Christmas trees now. I am back doing that for the first time in three years. And um, I am taking bookings now, so email me at suzyflower19 at .com. Um So do that. And um, if you're having a party during the summer, I right up until October, it's finishing touches, etc. You can email me at the other address, suzyflower19 at .com. But please, folks, girls and boys out there, especially the young girls, I mean, this particular girl I was watching, I won't name her because it's all embarrassing, poor girl. But 
she's doing remarkably well. I mean, it's she found a lot of things really difficult, really difficult. And you think like, it must be so challenging for somebody that either been bullied, and this is the word I use, bullied, about somebody. It only takes one person to turn around to somebody and say, oh, you're fat. You put on a few pounds and you think, in your head, you go, oh, right, okay. I've got to go on this drastic diet and starve yourself and make yourself so ill that you have to end up in hospital. But girls, you know, when you're young, you know, your bodies are changing all the time, all the time. And as you get older, your body changes more. So, you know, body, we're all body conscious. But I mean, during this thing, as I go refer back to lockdown, nobody cared what anyone looked like. If you didn't have, if you had grey root, if you had roots going through, if you didn't have, if you had grey hair, or your hair looked a mess, no one cared. No one cared because you couldn't do anything about it. So basically, if you went to the supermarket to get your groceries and you had grey hair because you, your highlights, your, your colour had gone, or your highlights looked a mess, no one cared. No one was going, oh my God. It was the fact was if someone coughed, everyone ran about 14 miles. But now, cough, say what? You sneeze, say what? I mean, I've been vaccinated, fully vaccinated. And I go out and about. I went out and about from day one when we got locked down for there was no vaccine. And, you know, get on with your life. Stop looking at yourselves in the mirror, girls. You are what you are. Everybody, it's what you are inside and what kind of person you are, whether you're fat, thin, whatever. And the word fat, you know, you know, it's like people, not everybody's the same. I've said this so many times before, so many times before, but... I mean, if you've got a problem, speak out, reach out to people. There's loads and loads of people, even on social media, make friends with people. Genuine people, you know, we're all here for each other. We're all here to support each other. We were two years ago and it was COVID. We're all looking out for each other. And now nobody probably gives two hoots about anybody else now because everyone's <laughs> trolling off doing their own little thing. Um, but, you know, look out for each other. I'm going to go now. Love each other. And I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.